So back on the mound yesterday, how did it feel? Felt good. Felt strong. Yeah. When a team signs a person knowing that it's an investment for that year, that you know he's going to be rehabbing and get ready, how much pressure is that relationship that they, they feel that you're going to get back to them? I mean, I feel really grateful, but I don't feel any pressure to reward them. Uh, we both knew what the risks were associated with it, and I felt obligated to give them my best effort every day. And I feel like they did a really good job of providing me with the resources, not just financially, but with my physical therapy to come back healthy. And in turn, I've given them a lot of effort every day that they've employed me. So I don't feel like today's any different than it was last April or last August. Just try to do the best I can every day. It's interesting the positioning of the locker room between two guys that, you know, two different types of careers, but long careers in the Major League Baseball. How much have you leaned on JB and, and Tommy you know, while you're here? Uh, I mean, I'm trying not to get in their way, but uh, it's been really cool to learn from them and to learn from Otto and Max and just all the vets we have here. It's pretty insane the accumulation of talent we have in this locker room, so absolutely, I'm trying to learn everything I can from anybody who's got you know, a gold card. Mentally, you, know, you look good yesterday, but you know, coming back from an injury, is there thoughts that you have to push back? or No, no. This, this one's substantially... I think it's easier in the sense that I did it already, so this is my second Tommy John, uh, and this one actually went way smoother than my first one. My first one I ended up having thoracic outlet uh, surgery, I think eight months into my recovery, and so just having one surgery instead of two is a lot easier this time. You've been around a lot of clubhouses. Steve Cohn mentioned yesterday that you know since he's been here, there's just a certain vibe in this locker room. Uh, just walking around also, this team seems to a player to have zero ego. Is there something special? I know it's early, but just from being in this locker room for you. Really early, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just an incredible place to be. I think it starts at the top, right? Like, all organizations start with leadership. And when you have, at the very top, Steve going out and getting guys who he thinks can help get us a championship. Billy absolutely committing to not just being 1 through 26 or 1 through 40, but realistically to win a World Series being 1 through 60. You look at some of the depth in this room, and there's going to be some guys who play a big role that might not break opening day, including myself. So um, I just feel really grateful to be here and have, you know, a guy who's seen it all in Bach, a uh, great pitching coach in half, you know, pitching the big leagues, has the respect of every veteran and every young guy in camp. I mean, you really couldn't ask for a better situation. Well, lastly, the two changes, actually three, I mean, the base is being bigger also. There's an advantage of base dealer not being able to throw over as often as you want in the pitch clock. How are you going to adjust that? And do you have a baseline from the past what your typical time between pitches was? I don't know what specifically it's been the last couple of years, but I know that when I was in uh, – the minor leagues coming up we had the pitch clock um back then it was different because you could disengage and reset it um in general i want to work fast in general i've always felt like one of the things pitchers are waiting on is for hitters to get into the box the other thing that's going to be really interesting for me was i wasn't around last year so i haven't done pitch comp yet um so i want to see how that works i think as long as we can get the pitch agreed to before the batter is in the box i mean it shouldn't be an issue. 15 seconds, he gets in with eight. If you know what pitch is coming, it doesn't take eight, eight seconds to come set and go home. Um, the bigger interesting thing across the league will happen when guys are like struggling a little bit, you know, because um, it's really easy if you're just filling up the strike zone. But if somebody needs a second to compose themselves, it's going to be interesting to see how different people adjust with that. But um, I'm looking forward to it personally. How important will that be for you to be on the same page with the catcher to understand, like, all right, I'm going to use one of my mouth visits because this way he can step off and recompose himself? Yeah, well, I think it's great that we have, you know, two guys behind the plate who know what they're doing. And obviously, I was with Narvi in uh, Milwaukee for a little bit. And so I have a prior relationship there, and I'm sure I'll get on the same page with Nito. I mean, fastball slider, kind of half the time, mixing some change ups, it's not that complicated for me.